What's the deal, YouTube? It's your girl, Miss Honey. Welcome to a teaspoon of honey, you guys, where I come in and just give you a small teaspoon of honey to go with all that social media tea that you've been sipping on all week long. If you're not already subscribed to Miss Honey's channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to thumbs up this video, as well as follow me on social media. Without further ado, you guys, let's get into this honey. Okay, honeybees, by now you guys have heard about the R. Kelly sex cult. Alleged R. Kelly sex cult. Um, let me say this, I am not a fan of R. Kelly. I have not been a fan of R. Kelly since he was accused of sex acts with a minor. Every time I see R. Kelly, that is all that I can think about. Um, having said that, let me say this, there is no crime in this case. As far as we know, all of the um, alleged victims are 18 years or older. We have heard from one victim who is in fact, I think 21 or 26, she's in her 20s. And it was her father that brought all these allegations to light. Well, she denies it. She says she's not being held against her will. Whether we believe it or not, there's been some talk about the video and <clears throat> it not being believable. I don't think that matters. Um, she's saying out of her own mouth she's fine and that is what the law considers to be um, proof enough that she is okay. Now we've seen her father's video, we've seen her video, we've heard um, sort of you know testimonies from people who work with R. Kelly that he, he this is true that he has all of these strange um, things that he forces these girls to do. Um, they can't have a smartphone. They have to wear sweatsuits so they don't show their body. They can't talk to other um, men. They have to sit in the corner with their face, you know, facing the wall. All of these things that we've heard about, there have been former employees who say that these things are true. We've heard from R. Kelly in his camp in the form of a letter, and they have denied these allegations, all right? We've also heard from a ton of people, okay, who love R. Kelly. But as far as we know, there's only been two crimes that were that 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 R. Kelly that has come to light about R. Kelly that's been considered actual crimes. That is one marrying 15 year old Aaliyah, a crime although the marriage was annulled, he was never ever charged with. The family never ever ever charged him with the crime. The second one was this alleged sex act with a minor, a crime he was charged with but acquitted of, all right? Through all of this, we don't really see R. Kelly suffering financially. He is still selling out tours. He is still selling music. If you play Step in the Name of Love right now and there is a stepper in the room, I promise you they will dance until their feet bleed. Okay? You still hear people, other celebrities say they would love to work with him. They consider him a mentor. He is a friend. Um, they would love for him to write music for them. All of these things. R. Kelly is not suffering financially because you guys or people or social media is putting these memes out here about him being this pervert or this pied piper, you know, wooing the ladies away, okay? Me personally, my opinion, I don't consider R. Kelly to be the pied piper. I don't call him that. I call this thing what it is it's a pimp spirit and i know what you're saying to yourself but miss honey miss honey what is the pimp spirit well gather around little ones i'll tell you what the pimp spirit is the pimp spirit is that which feeds upon the most vulnerable and the weakest amongst us Okay, it's that pimp spirit that convinces a woman to sit quietly on the sofa while her child is being raped and violated in the room next door. It is the pimp spirit that also convinces that woman to put her baby out. Okay, because she trying to seduce my man. 
all right it's that pimp spirit that will talk to somebody not 10 hours after stepping off the greyhound bus coming from a beautiful suburban home three meals a day roof over your head clothes on your back and you will sleep with strangers doing despicable acts for money okay it's the pimp spirit that 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 Talks a woman into carrying six kilos of cocaine in her rectum. Okay? It's the pimp spirit that that talks a woman into taking the blame for, 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 for a man's crime. Okay? And don't, don't be fooled. This happens to men and women. That pimp spirit does not discriminate. It feeds upon, upon the most vulnerable and the weakest amongst us. But again, R. Kelly is not suffering at all, okay? If you are, and this is my opinion, and that's all that it is, is an opinion. If you are still stepping in the name of love, you are financing that pimp spirit and the victimization of others, of the weak, of the vulnerable. If you are still buying tickets to his concert, you are financing the victimization of the weak and the vulnerable. If you are still buying his music, you are financing the victimization of the weak and the vulnerable amongst us. Point blank, period. That's just my opinion. You guys, let me know what you think about it down below. Do you think that R. Kelly has a pimp spirit? Or you think he's just some regular pervert off the street? Let me know. Okay, newsflash, everybody. Allegedly, Usher has herpes. Um, we learned this week that Usher paid a $1.4 million settlement along with, I think, over two or $3,000 in medical bills to a woman who was the bridesmaid in he and Tamika's wedding. Apparently, he had been sleeping the, with the woman, um, and, and she knew that he had had a discharge, and she knew that he had been complaining about herpes. Um, but when he came back from the doctor, he claimed that the his bill of health was clean. And even though she saw the discharge and she saw how gross the discharge was, she was able actually to describe the color of the discharge. Um, she still continued to sleep with him unprotected. And now um, finding that she is having lesions and sores in her vagina, she goes to the doctor. She gets the diagnosis. Yes, she has herpes too, which is genital herpes. She sues Usher. Bada bing, bada boom, $1.4 million. Now there's another woman that he has slept with on his new wife. I think he's been married to this woman two years. Her name is what? Grace Miguel or something like that. Earlier this year, he's sleeping with another woman. He slept with her several times. I think she said on one occasion he used a condom. My question is, are you and Grace using a condom, Usher? Did you tell Grace before she married you that you had herpes too? That you had genital herpes? Huh? Did you pay this money out to this woman uh, recently? Or before you got married? I'm not sure. I have questions. All right. I am ashamed for Usher. I'm ashamed for his children. I don't feel sorry for him because these are the tangle webs that we weave when we first practice to deceive. Okay, I'm glad that this story is out. And one of the reasons why I'm glad that it's out because, you guys, it's a lot of people out there not using condoms. When you think about how many children Fetty Wap have and, and a lot of these other um hip-hop stars and instagram models it's a lot of licking and sticking going on out there without condoms all right it's got to be a lot of oral sex without condoms all right and i went out on the cdc's website and discovered this Statistic from 2013, 16.2 or about one in six people ages 14 to 49 have a new herpes simplex 2 infection, okay? About one in five women have a herpes 
2 infection. And one in four African Americans have carry the herpes and virus. It is easier for a man to infect a woman than it is for a woman to infect a man. Okay, we needed this issue to be brought to the forefront. We have laughed at the memes. We have made all types of jokes about his song, um, Let It Burn, considering he had the burning. I mean, to a certain degree, it is funny. And to a certain degree, he's getting what he deserves, okay? And these women need to be paid for their pain and suffering. But they also need to take some responsibility in this. If you see a greenish, purplish, yellowish discharge coming from a man's penis, that penis is out of order. Okay? And for me personally, I can't never really look at that penis the same again. I don't think your girl's going to be able to do it. All right, but if you're a person that have a greenish, yellowish, purplish, bluish discharge coming from your penis, get up now and go to urgent care. If you're a woman and you're sleeping with a man and he got a greenish, grayish, bluish, purplish discharge coming from his penis, run, do not walk in the other direction because that D is dirty. Point blank period. Whatever comes from this with Usher, he deserves. It is a lack of character and morality for you to not only be cheating on your wife, but infecting these other women. And as far as we know, we haven't heard anything from Grace. I'm sure she's got her somewhere, got her head hanging down in shame. If she even knew when she married the man that he had herpes, I would like to know. I would love to know. Okay, even if Usher came out with a genuine apology, I think we would accept it, but he can no longer be considered. I don't think he will ever be considered a sex symbol again, and he only has himself to blame for this. Shame on you, Usher. Shame on you. All right, honeybees, last story. The juice is loose. OJ Simpson, Orenthal Simpson has been granted parole after almost 10 years in jail. He was given a 33 year sentence for allegedly kidnapping and robbing. Um, and I say allegedly because we all know and believe that OJ Simpson was set up for that kidnap and robbery. First of all, he was taking back his own things which had been stolen. Um, and, 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 you know, the whole kidnapping thing is really kind of semantics, but, um, really the, all of that came about because, um, I think because he was acquitted of the murder of Nicole Brown Simpson, as well as Ron Goldman. Now, um, I feel very, very saddened for the Brown family, as well as the Gold family because it must be very very difficult to realize that you will never receive justice for your slain loved ones it's probably feels as bad as it does for the loved ones of people who have been put in jail or put on death row and killed um, for crimes they did not commit or murdered like Emmett Till based on the lie of a white woman it probably feels very, very similar. The injustice and the indignation probably feels very, very similar. Now, I do believe that um, O.J. Simpson killed Nicole Brown and Ron Goldman. But I also feel like the reason why um, O.J. Simpson was acquitted is because of white people. Okay, remember Cato Kalen driving him around for hours and hours on end? When they could have been getting DNA evidence off of him, when they could have been questioning him when he was in a space that he could tell actually what happened. All right. Remember Mark Furman? Remember how he perjured himself and was found guilty of perjury on the stand? Remember how he tampered with the infamous bloody glove? All right. White people are the reason why OJ is... Um, was acquitted of that murder and for some reason they decided they were going to air the oj simpson uh parole hearing on live tv much like they aired 
the Nicole Brown Ron Goldman murder trial live on air and people were watching. I, 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 I dare to say that white people are almost as obsessed with OJ Simpson as OJ Simpson is obsessed with white people. It is my best advice to you, OJ Simpson, that you pull a Casey Anthony and disappear. Get somewhere and get low. These white people want you either in jail or they want you dead. They have already tried to put you in jail and then keep you in jail. So what is left? Exactly. Get somewhere and sit down, OJ, and leave these white folks alone. All right? That's it for me, you guys. Please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Remember to um, leave me a comment down below as to how you feel about R. Kelly and this whole um, pimp spirit. How do you feel about Usher and the burn, okay? What do you think about OJ getting out of jail after 10 years? Uh, what do you think about why why people are so obsessed? with OJ. I'd like to hear about it down below, okay, you guys? Without further ado, mm -hmm.